Welcome to Aceh, Indonesia. This was once a busy market gateway to East Africa, the Middle East and Asia. But it fell away after years of civil conflict and the biggest tsunami the world had ever seen. Suddenly before I realized everything, that very big wave have hit us all. Uh, I was taken from the city to the sea, is, uh, up to the middle of the sea. And then another wave came again. It took me again uh, very close to the land. I got to my uh, resident again, but it doesn't look like my resident anymore because all the buildings have been uh, uh, destroyed. So th at that time I realized that I, uh, I will not be able to find my family anymore. The 10 meter high wall of water that thundered through her once quiet seaside community took 90% of the people who live there. Nettie lost her two young children. After a while, that we realized that we need shelter, we need house to live. So I saw some people have want to move back to what I saw was a very dangerous area. So what is the criteria for the buffer zone? So what, what is the criteria for the safe place? Determined to help communities like hers build back better, Nettie moved away from her career in chemical engineering. She applied for and won an Australia Awards Scholarship to study a Masters of Urban and Regional Planning at Curtin University. When we study, there was no right or wrong. It was just different. So different opinion could be applied in one particular case. So it is quite uh, interesting to enrich uh, my view of how we should think. Ten years on from the tsunami, Aceh has healed. Even so, it remains one of Indonesia's poorest regions. One in three families live below the poverty line. To boost our economy, we need the capital from the private sector. Today, Neti leads promotion at the Aceh Investment Coordinating Board. She is using the planning skills she learned in Australia to attract investors to Aceh. Before, the focus was on simply promoting the region's potential. Now her team prepares investment profiles with full land surveys. This has boosted confidence among investors. Investors like Australian cattle breeder Harry Lawson. Lawson's Angus is a family business that, that's nearly 50 years old, so it was really started by uh, my parents who built it from scratch. This farm breeds some of Australia's finest Angus cattle. Recently, Lawson Angus started sharing its world-class breeding technology with Arche. The Arche beef farmers should be amongst the most productive and profitable in the world. And they're not at the moment because they're not linked in in terms of technology, genetic management systems, nutrition, beef processing, marketing. But the potential is clearly there. At the market, it's all smiles as families buy beef to celebrate the start of Ramadan. The average Achenese consumes only two kilos of beef annually. It's a luxury item. The Australian cattle breeder is collaborating with Achenese farmers. This partnership will involve importing an initial breeding pool alongside expertise to improve animal welfare, nutrition and sustainable land management. The hope is to build a viable beef industry that benefits farmers in both countries. Our vision is to be one of the leading investment destination in Indonesia. We uh, dress locally but think globally. <laughs> this is one of the many successful investment partnerships that Netty and her team have helped facilitate. In recent months, for example, another foreign investor started work on a major fish processing centre. Many stand to benefit. My name is Rushdi and I'm a fish seller. For the sellers, if there is a lot of fish coming in, then we don't make many sales. Our hope is that the new fish processing centre will help stabilise the prices. Really, Nettie to us, is, she's a critical person. She's hugely passionate about Archer. The fact that she studied in Australia, 
the no worries Harry type attitude. You know, so she, she gets our culture. Nettie's been able to teach us a lot in a short time about her culture. I have been in the situation of life and death, but suddenly God gave me another chance to live. I believe it is, it has a purpose. With the knowledge she gained in Australia, Nettie's purpose now lies in showing the world a new face of Aceh, so that the region can once again grow and prosper as an international trading hub.